Hatchlings, this is Dragonfeather, and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode for the YouTube Pagan Challenge, the question is, what does the sun mean to you? Or what does its solar cycles mean to you? And well, when I was first starting witchcraft, I really just did not like the sun. For a while, and even before I started witchcraft, I was just like really... Oh, I just hated the daytime. Like, I thought that I was a vampire, and that I just fucked all the sunlight, <laughs> and I really didn't like going outside very much because out where I live, the sun's very hot, and I'm very pale, and I tend to get very sunburned, um, even when I'm just out for a little bit. Sometimes uh, I remember that when I was in um, high school, I would get sunburned on my way walking to classes, so I was very anti-sun, but Nowadays, um, after really getting to know um, the sunlight and really getting to um, just spend time during the day, like it's just honestly been really kind of mind-boggling because I've recently discovered like how much I really do adore the sun and how much I really do adore daytime. And one of my favorite things to do nowadays is just um, I call them sh I call it chakra bathing, um, but I like going out into the sunlight and like putting spreading out my arms and you know spreading out my legs and laying down on like a grassy field or something like that and sunbathe. And I like to um, feel really connected with the sun and really just let it charge me up with its energy. And it's also really good for you. Coming from a more magical perspective, I feel like. Um, doing magic during the day is very powerful and the reason why I feel this way is because when we do magic during night I feel like most closeted witches tend to do practice tend to practice or do ritual or do spell casting at night I feel like it's just a time where it's more like mostly everyone's asleep and it's like very quiet and very calm and it's like that time of the day or day <laughs> that time of um, night when you can really just like sit down and relax and focus on crap. However, I feel like casting spells during the daytime is very powerful because when you're out in sunlight, when you're out during the day, you can draw upon the sun's energy and the sun is ginormous and hella powerful and there's just so many awesome things about the sun that we have yet to discover and so many awesome things that we already know about the sun so when you do out in broad daylight a spell it's such a different energy it's such a different atmosphere because it's not like you don't have that like really calm lunar energy you have the very powerful radiant bright solar energy and when you draw upon that especially casting spells during the day i feel is a little bold for witches to do these days but like if you go outside and you have like a nature spot where you can cast a spell during the day like, I really highly recommend trying it out because it is a completely different experience and it's completely different than, say, casting a spell at night. I do like, I do prefer casting spells at night. Like I said, people are asleep, I can be in my house, I can, you know, use my altar and kind of like create sacred space within my room, especially when people are asleep, it's just nice for me to do that quietly. But for, you know, certain solar holidays, like Beltane was just a little bit ago, um, like for Beltane, like to just be out in sunlight and celebrate the fucking solar magic, you know, and really soak it in and really try and draw upon that energy because it's good energy and it's, it's like, okay, like I used to be hella afraid of the the sun i used to really hate the sun and like i said now i feel like i need the sun because i do <laughs> you do too <laughs> we all need the sun um and to really connect with that is like our source of life like if the sun was not there we would not be here and it's just it's really important for us to understand that as witches i feel i feel like it's just really important to get out and today get out into the sunlight and that's kind of why i wanted to film this video outside um, uh, a little bird over there is trying to steal the show, but um, that's kind of why I wanted to film this video outside because uh, it's it's the daytime, it's sunlight, and it's really really beautiful outside. Even though it's hella hot, I'm like in the most shaded um, little area I could find. I'm kind of like surrounded by nature. To 
I make that point because I feel like solar magic is incredibly powerful and I feel like it's highly underrated. I feel like the sun is a great way to get in touch with not only your masculine energy, but a great way to charge your, ch charge your chakras and to really embrace the light. Um, it's a really powerful time to just embrace the light, embrace the power of the sun because it is powerful and solar magic will blow your mind. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until next time, stay geeky, cheeky, and freaky little hatchlings. Blessed be and bye.